News 3 starts now. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for spending your Monday afternoon with us. I'm Crystal Allen in for LaToya Silman today. There's a fundraiser for that Metro Police officer recently killed in the line of duty. It's happening right now at the Nevada Coin Mart on Jones Boulevard. And that's where we find our Kyle Wilcox live there with more on how you can help. Kyle, please fill us in. Crystal, good afternoon. You can come down here and you can buy a shirt just like this. It's 20 bucks and all the proceeds go to help late officer Trung Tai's family. And yeah, it's a nice black shirt. It's got the nice logo on it here. There's been more people kind of coming through here. All you could smell is food right now. They have tacos in the back over there and just kind of the, the smell of the smoke, the smell of it kind of just keeps getting blown around here and it smells delicious over here. But you could buy a t-shirt like this, like I mentioned, for 20 bucks and a couple of other things. But the black shirt does have you know, Officer Trung, Trung Tai's name on it. It also says Heroes Live Forever along with his end of watch date, which was October 13th. And there's also bracelets you can buy that has his name on them. There's also some really cool wooden toy cars that you can also buy, get those for kids if you'd like. You can also, as I mentioned, grab tacos at the Taco Spand. It's a really good spot to come over here for lunch today. You know, Officer Tai was killed last week in a shootout with a suspect after responding to a domestic disturbance near UNLV's campus. He was a 23-year-old, 23-year veteran, excuse me, with Metro, and he also coached a local volleyball club. The injured police fund is hoping the injured police officers fund, that is, is hoping the Las Vegas community will show its generosity like it has in the past. Our community, uh, every time we've had a tragedy, is always willing to step up and support uh, our fallen officers' families, and I'm sure today will be no different. Um, it's a great opportunity to show our appreciation for all his 23 years of service and to help his family going forward. It is a very great opportunity to show your appreciation for Officer Ty's service to the community here. It's going to be until 3 o'clock today, so you have plenty of time to come out of here. But if you're not able to make it today, head over to our website, news3lv.com. We'll have a link up there where you can actually donate to help Officer Ty's family in this extremely difficult time. Kyle Wilcox reporting live this afternoon. Back to you, Crystal. Certainly difficult for his family. Our thoughts and prayers definitely with them. But glad to see the community is coming out to support that family.